Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to talk about the subject of are we addicted to internet and social media? Well, obviously if I'm doing a vlog, people might say I am, but I don't know if that's exactly true. What's an addiction? Is it that you check your phone as soon as you get up or you have to check your phone before going to sleep? You have to go on Facebook 10 times a day, check out Instagram, 15 times a day, take selfies of yourself every time you have a meal. Well, is it addiction? Maybe. I think it's just something that we're used to, that we got used to with society. Society has changed. But at the same time, if you look at uh, older pictures, they have this meme on internet where they show uh, a bunch of young people staring down at their cell phone. But then they, so they show in retrospect a picture of... Uh, maybe almost a hundred years ago where people are on the street and they're all reading their newspapers. So, um, is it better to read a newspaper than to read the internet? I mean, technically, people are reading and reading is reading, right? Um, so I guess it depends really what you are doing on social media. But yeah, it, it would be nice, I would say, that if, um, let's say you're at a restaurant or you're hanging out with friends that you're not actually on social media just spacing out and looking at what people are doing on Facebook because then you're so interested in other people's lives that you're not really interested in your own life and you're not interacting with the people around you and that's a problem because then it creates a society that has ADD in some way It may basically you don't have any attention span where everything is uh, how can I say, not interesting enough. Everything has to go fast. For example, for me, I, I watched the Lego movie recently, the first one, and uh, for me, I couldn't handle it. It was, it was just too much. It felt like the movie was on ADD. I, there was joke after joke after joke after joke. All these like beautiful, crazy lights going on all like every every two seconds, and people were going from one seat to the other to one type of Lego to the other, and it was just crazy for me. I just felt like I was on an acid trip, and and I d didn't know what the hell was happening. It was just too much. People singing, people going, uh, and flying. It was just I just got crazy, you know. And that for me was a movie on ADD. Uh, it was really on speed and I could not understand it which is crazy because it was super successful and I think if I, I tell a lot of people that I don't like it they'd be like no it was a great movie but at the same time like well, what did I just watch there's just so many things happening at the same time and I just don't understand it and that's basically where I think people say hey there's an addiction to social media or internet which I think internet is amazing if you really think about it, it lets you have a library at the tip of your fingers and you're able to research whatever you've always wanted to know. And uh, you can watch movies, you can get the news, you can see the news, you can get stuff about tech, you can get any kind of, uh, of thing that interests you on the internet. It's pretty amazing and also it has a way of keeping people in touch because we have things like Skype, like Facebook audio, uh, there's WhatsApp, there's a bunch of other type of programs that let you make calls with people that are all over the world for free, pretty much all over the uh, through Wi-Fi. And that's amazing because now you're able to keep in touch with all the people that are maybe far away from you. And you can also see them if you want to. And it's not exactly the same thing as having dinner with them, obviously. But I mean, it's kind of cool that you get to see someone far away and talk to them even if they're not here and then there's social media which kind of lets you um, keep in touch with all these people that you didn't keep in touch for many years which is kind of cool you know so I'm just thinking that it's kind of amazing um, I think social media and internet is is a good thing it's allowed people like me and you to vlog to do their own shows on the internet to uh, showcase their movies and short films and for people to express themselves so it's really 
what you do with it if if you're addicted to it where you have to just be on it constantly and you can't interact with people and it affects your life then I think it's bad but if you're using it as a tool if you're using it to keep up with people if you keep if you're using it just to genuinely promote yourself to find jobs to uh in a good way then really you can basically do everything you've ever wanted and you can find out all these cool things about these places you have never been to just through looking at a website on the internet or, or looking at a video on YouTube so yes there are a lot of people that are addicted to it in a bad way uh, where it affects their life but then at the same time it's such a wonderful tool that I don't think we should go back to a way of life that didn't have that because I remember as a kid like my grandparents were in Italy and phone calls were so expensive so we weren't able to call every week it would have to be every couple of weeks because it was just too expensive nowadays I would have been able to see them through Skype or or whatever and it would have been amazing it just it just brings people it's funny because it actually brings people together because you're able to con to reach out to them faster but then it, it makes them uh, go more far away from each other it spreads them out because then people sometimes they just look at the pictures that the people are taking on their Instagram and they don't really contact them they they know kind of what they're doing in their life but they're not taking the time to to um, to actually reach out to them but if you really think about it in the old days where there wasn't internet and stuff then what did people do they had to write letters <laughs> or they would stay out of touch for years so I think what we have now is actually much much better than uh, what we had even 25 years ago and uh, I don't think we need to go back to that way of life it's not normal it's uh, it doesn't make sense if uh, that makes sense to you right so so yeah there is an addiction and there's some people that definitely for example and um, I've heard that um, the population of Japan is decreasing because uh, most people don't want to uh, find a mate or to procreate and stuff like that, which is kind of uh, interesting. And they're just happy to go to work and then go home and play video games and uh, do that kind of stuff. And then they don't actually socialize, which is kind of interesting. And they seem to be happily living their life that way. But that's that's another extreme which is not good. Because then we go into a, a sort of a state where it's like WALL-E. The, the animated film where everybody's just sitting on a chair. And they're super obese. And uh, they're not doing anything else but... Um, stuff on their computer and uh, yeah if we do get to that point there might be a problem because then society would not be able to procreate and they would not be able to continue having humans on earth because the population would decrease more and more and more so that is an extreme but I don't think that's going to happen and I'm hoping that uh, it's not complete addiction and that people are using it as a proper tool which I think most people are and definitely it's like everything people do have addictions but I don't think it's the majority of the population hopefully if that makes sense so have a great day bye